What's up, people? It's your boy Jatuan. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program, and here at JDSA, we've gotten our hands on some dangerous technology. This say uh, this dangerous technology has allowed us to do some great things, great things indeed in this world, and we have two more to add to our dangerous collection. <laughs> All that fun and games aside, today we're gonna actually look at two things I've been working on. Uh, there's other things I've been working on, but this, these two actually kind of go hand in hand because they're the same base technology that I've been playing with. Uh, so both of them are dealing with module manager. This being said, I've had a lot of fun today, and we're going to show you one. That's why we're in space. This is actually an orbit-worthy SSTO that I've added a few things on the back, so it, it technically isn't an SSTO. It has three stages, but... You can't have enough SRBs, I'm sorry. <laughs> so anyhow, this this spacecraft has is going to show off a bit of technology that I have done with Module Manager. And I'm going to release under the label of a blade of paint. So this one, as you can see here, this craft has a bladers, a blader, a blader, a blader. We've added a blader to anything that's not a gosh darn engine. Except for right there, it kind of has a blader on there. That's um, that's neither here nor there. It's going to be removed from all the engines. We don't need engine ablators. Unless you guys want engine ablators. I mean, hey, here at GDSA, we aim to please. So you know what? In the comments down below, you put in what parts all should be covered with a blade of paint. Should we just spray it everywhere in our garage and make sure we coat everything down to every last single strut or should we stay away from certain parts struts you know hey you don't need a blade of paint on that strut or hey you don't need a blade of paint on that engine you guys are going to be the deciders on this one so comments down below what all should be included in a blade of paint i can do any part you would like because right now it's covering every darn thing <laughs> So, as you can see, we have a blader, 100 units of a blader on everything. And also, how much a blader do you think we should add to it? This is going to be a community decision. How much a blader and what parts should have a blader to it? So, let's go ahead and bring ourselves on down to see how well our blade of paint is going to work. And we're going to bring this up here. Uh, of course, you can't see it because my delightful head's kind of in the way. But we're going to see... How well we do, especially we're going to aim at this nose cone. How about that? So you guys can watch this along with me. That's my main concern. And the inline cockpit. And you'll see there's some other things added onto this cockpit. And we'll we'll delve into that next after we test this experiment. Whoa, hey, there you go. Stability assist. Do not fight me on this. Do not fight me on this. <laughs> And we also have a blade of paint on our air brakes. So we can kick on our air brakes. And that should help us out a bit as well. Ooh, things are getting toasty. Toasty. Oh, we might want to turn off those air brakes. Oh. Whoa, doing a reverse pancake, reverse pancake. That sounds really bad. Oh, uh, it's so not good. So not good. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, we are going to do whatever we want to do. Because we can. Uh, <laughs> Holy moly. That worked. Okay, I'll take it. Wow! Wow! I, you see, I didn't want to use uh, the last bit of my fuel up for that. Uh, so, we are going to hopefully come on in. What? <laughs> that actually worked. Alright, let's go in. Let's land this. Because once I go, once I hit these air brakes, it's going to land really fast. Alright. Uh, a lot of lift. Wow. Nice. Nice. 
Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. <laughs> A little hard on that landing, but that'll work for me. Wow, did not think this bird would do it, but she did, and there you go, we successfully back, and we have 3.8 seconds left of Delta V. That is a victory for JDSA. So here we are with Valentina, and Valentina is overlooking something that's very close by underwater here, as you can see. And that is our submarine that we have parked underwater of our aircraft carrier that is still work in progress. Not released yet, I'm so sorry. I'm working on it. <laughs> so let's jump over to, let's jump over to our other craft here. So this is Submerger. And Submerger is parked underneath of our carrier lathe. And Submerger is using the newer version of ballast tanks. Now, this one is actually, once again, using Module, mon module Manager, and it is has added and uh, add the liquids onto each of these parts. Anything that has liquid, uh, if it has liquid fuel, then it adds liquids. So not all these parts have actual liquid uh, liquids added in, so not everything is available to have ballast. But the normal Mark 1 cockpit now has the controls from ballast tanks embedded into it. So it can actually control how much ballast is being added. And the ballast being, of course, being liquids, that can be managed just like any other fuel. And you can see here, we have a really good balance going on here. And we are parked underneath of our carrier, which is really cool because as you can see here, our vertical speed is currently negative 285.35 mms. So we are basically staying put, which is really nice. And we can actually, if we would like, kick on our VTOL engines, which is another mod I was playing with. And now we are moving along the ocean floor. <laughs> so yes, this thing actually handles really well. Uh, if you see all the SAS, yes, that is because, well, you do need a lot of SAS to make this uh, really stable at the moment. And I'm thinking about adding in some different types of SAS, maybe. We'll see what happens on there because I see it being a bit overkill as it is. But this will allow you to now navigate the ocean floor without having to add in additional ballast tanks and having to then figure out where the heck are you going to place your ballast tank. Now you can just use your normal everyday fuel tanks and carry on your business. So from GDSA, we hope you have enjoyed this video. <laughs> Jebs enjoyed this video. We are navigating underwater. There is our aircraft carrier in the distance. And this can open up a new, a new, a brand new method of travel underwater. Well, not brand new. There's, we've been dealing with underwater transportation for a while. But this is a way to do it with a near stock craft and also without having to dump a ton of ore in your craft and being able to manage your ballast a bit better. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. But for now, I'm going to get on out of here. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, drop me in a comment. Let me know what you think. I will push these mods on over to uh, Discord first for the first uh, first time users can jump on my Discord and grab it from the aircraft sharing uh, channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments below what parts should be included in the ablative paint what parts and how much ablative paint should be added to each part and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video I will catch you guys in the next one for now it's your boy just want I'm out peace all the other mods are on space dock Test them out if you want. And let me know what you think.